this morning in the Solistic Life, I wanted to talk about something that is very prevalent at this time of year. And I call it seeking silence. For years now, I've um, got up early, woken up early naturally. I'm blessed I don't have to try. And those morning hours, I talked about it in a previous video, are some of the most precious to me because of their silence. I'm not getting emails, I'm not being called. The world is still asleep. Really, I tend to get up at about 4.35 in the morning or wake up at least. It's really only me and the birds and the dawn. In many cultures, that's one of the most magical, potent times of the day to do practices such as meditation, visualization, intention, because the veils are thin and the noise of the human morphic field and the Gaian morphic field, wherever you are at that time of day, hasn't yet awoken fully. Obviously, we have all the nocturnal energies, but that's another subject for another video. So at this time of year in January, when it's dark a lot, um, it gets dark early. It stays dark until late um, in the UK, at least. In many parts of the world, we're still in lockdown. So the amount of things like traffic noise and uh, just public transport, the bustle of everyday life is still somewhat calmed. And whilst that may be annoying in some ways, in many ways, <laughs> um, it's actually a massive opportunity to seek silence. To find these times of the day, maybe it's before your children are awake, maybe it's before you begin work, <sighs> where you can sit in the silence. And I find certain places have more silence than others, so... I'm currently traveling for work and I'm in an Airbnb and that's not the kind of silence I normally seek. I normally seek the silence of my meditation corner in my house or the silence of if it's warm enough sat outside underneath the trees in the dark. There's certain places and spaces that are sacred and have silence for you and you'll know where they are. And if you haven't ventured outside at this time of day, I would really encourage that. Um, venturing out into the darkness in the outside world means you get to listen to the sounds of nature as she awakens, which is something else entirely. <sighs> so I welcome us all this week to seek silence, even if it's just five minutes. something you will not regret. <laughs>